Huwag niyo ako judge Hindi ganito pagkain ng burger pero Sobrang lucky niya Mas amoy sunog siya in a good way In a very meaty way <laughs> <laughs> mga ka-investa, kasama ko ngayon si AJ at si Jory, at may susubukan kaming dalawang burger with two different price points. So, in the left side, we have and this is something that we all love, bilang Pinoy, no? But it has a very affordable price point at around less than 100 lang siya, so 90 pesos. Here, meron tayong more fancy, expensive burger na tinatawag na foie gras burger. So, mas expensive siya, around 700 to 800 yung price range niya. So, subukan na natin. Hi guys, this is AJ. And again, we're going to be comparing a burger that's 99 pesos and a burger that's 1,000 pesos. What's up mga ka-investa? It's Diori. So, ako nakuha ko na din yung dalawang burgers. So, ayan. Makikita naman natin na syempre, mas well presented itong Tigo 1,000 pesos. And ito naman. Ah... Uh, <laughs> Ito naman, ano ba? Uh, okay naman, normal. So, first let's see, like, I rearranged them sa plates, but let's see their appearance. So, parang, this is like double or triple. <laughs> That's like triple the size of this other burger here. The foie gras is not, it's not as big as I thought. Maybe enough na yung konting wagra. Hindi <laughs> talaga magaling sa mga ganito. Okay naman, ang may burger. Paano masabi? <laughs> smells good naman. It smells appetizing, this one. It smells different. Na parang mas amoy ko yung pagka burnt burger niya. Mas amoy su mas amoy sunog siya in a good way, in a very meaty way. Ito, <laughs> okay, okay naman. Not too bad, di ba? Ito, okay din. The texture of the buns, um, this is, feels very firm. Not soggy naman. Feels okay. Feels firm. This one, Med yeah, this is this med this is medyo soggy because I think mar marami siyang sauce maybe. Mhm. Mm good. Parang may gulay siya and may tomatoes, pero sa unang kagat walang tomato and I barely tasted lettuce. Pero I I got the bacon, I got the burger. Hmm. Bro. Sarap. Ito palang, sarap na sarap na ako. Kahit may isang piranggot na bacon. Malaki yung difference na ina-add niya sa flavor. Sana nakakain na muna kayo, no? Bago nyo napanood tong video na to. Mm. Sobrang sarap. Tsaka sa 99 pesos. Mayroon na siyang bacon, tomato, lettuce, yung patty, tsaka keso. Yung patty! Sarap! Isa din pa sa nagpasarap na ito, yung mayonnaise. Meron din siya mayonnaise sa ilalim. So, this is the side. So, sa so first bite naman with uh, this other burger, um, I was able to taste, kasi they separated the lettuce. So, hindi mo na nila inassemble yung burger. I had to put the lettuce myself. So that's why I could still taste the lettuce, the crispy shots, stuff like that. And then I was able to like get 
onions then. Hindi na obviously hindi siya tinapay lahat. Because I was able to get good amount ng patty and the burger and also the lettuce. What? <laughs> Teka, may something. Naglalaban sa utak ko kung ano yung lasa na yun. Hala, hindi ko pa ma-imagine yung lasa na yun. Nagkaan siya. Alam mo yung parang mga music notes naglalaro. Wow, pusog na ako. <laughs> Excuse me, ah. <laughs> Meron siyang ano, onion. Parang sauteed na on onion. Parang may sauteed na onion. Kaya din ba ganun? Pag alas nyo kumain, bigla kayong inaantok. Ganun kasi ako. Baboy lang ang peg. Ganun. Pusog <laughs> na. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Bala na. Tanggalin mo na yung veggies na yun. Okay. Sarap. Huwag niyo ako judge. Hindi ganito pagkain ng burger pero sobrang laki niya. Mmm. Oh, sarap. Overall taste, nakakabusog ba? Yes na yes. Grabe, sobrang nabusog talaga ako ngayong gabi. Pare silang masarap, pero 1 is to 8 yung ratio nila. So, malaki yung difference niya. Pero hindi porket mataas yung price point. Ganon ka laki yung difference ng taste niya. Worth it siya, pero it's not something that I would eat again and again. Kasi for the times 8 na price point, baka may mas okay na burger na halos kasing sarap rin naman ng burger na to. Worth it ba ang presyo ng bawat isa? Sa tingin ko, as businessmen, pinag-isipan talaga nila yung presyo. Bakit ganito yung presyo? Paano nila nakayanan na ganito yung presyo? I think it's uh, justifiable. Both are worth for its price. Like again, this is a burger that has one patty, one, some bacon, le may ketchup na siya, may lettuce na siya. And for 100 pesos, actually for 99 pesos, yeah, worth it naman na parang you got a burger, parang you're looking for a burger and then you have it. So, you know, one person, one burger, 1,000 pesos, definitely not. You know, hindi ko na feel yung pagka 1,000 pesos niya. Definitely. Um, bottom line, not worth it. I'm very, I'm gonna be very happy with this burger that's 100 pesos. And then, kunyari, I have 1,000 pesos. I'm gonna, am I gonna spend it here or here? I'm gonna spend it here and I'm gonna keep the 900 pesos to myself. And I'm gonna be happy with that 900 pesos. Pero, it's good to have every once in a while. If you're feeling fancy, if meron kang extra cash to spend, if you want to reward yourself, it's, a, it's definitely a good burger that you can have to make yourself happy. <laughs> The fact that this is 10 times the price of this, pero it's not 10 times the flavor. Like for me, it's not 10 times the flavor. And again, so 50, 30, 20 na budgeting natin, you know, um, 30% of our income, we can spend it on our wants. And definitely these things are wants. I suggest investing or saving that 1,000 pesos or investing it somewhere else para nag multiply pa siya. Like, you know, the, again, the important part is always going to be saving your money for the rainy days and not wasting it on things that will not even last for one hour. Hindi naman to every day na gagastos ka. Kailangan mo din pag-isipan kung kailangan ba araw-araw kang gagastos ng ganito. Siyempre, kailangan din natin maging practical. And it's okay to reward yourself once in a while. That's it, you know? Be happy. <laughs> Antok na. <laughs> so, ayan, maraming salamat. Uh, sana nag-enjoy din kayo sa video na to. Yun lang. So, I think yung lesson is hindi porket sobrang taas ng presyo ng isang bagay, eh, ganun din siya ka-valuable. Kasi for a 100 peso burger, 
masarap na siya, feeling na siya, and may enjoy mo siya, magiging masaya ka. So, definitely, hindi mo kailangan bumili ng mamahaling mga bagay para lang maging masaya or para masatisfy ka. Marami din namang alternatives na mas mura na makatipid ka, pero malaki rin yung benefits mo sa mga bagay na yun. Luxuries is something you can enjoy. Of course, life is short. Wag naman na lahat ng inipon natin na pera hindi natin gagastusin ever. So, try to live life a little bit more and at the same time, try to save up and manage your finances para meron kang money that you can spend for yourself, for your happiness, and for your mental health. So, ayun no guys, sana nag-enjoy kayo. Minsan lang kami mag-feature ng pagkain dito sa Investa TV. And I hope you guys can subscribe because we have a lot of learning videos that you can watch if you want to learn how to invest, how to manage your finances, and mga challenges like this that you will hopefully enjoy. Paalam mga ka-Investa!